simula 2025, kailangan ng pag-aralan ng mga estudyante sa British Columbia ang Holocaust bago magtapos ng high school. Ito ang anunsyo ng probinsya lunes ng gabi sa gitna ng tila tumatas daw na anti-Jewish sentiments sa North America kabilang sa BC. You know, two women at a vigil were, were just out there to say, hey, you know, people need not to be killed. People need not to be taken hostage. We want the hostages released. Um, we're threatened with murder. Um, schools and, and child care centers shut down for fear of threats. Premier Eby spoke about the very real fear that the Jewish community has. In my experience, that fear has looked like having a bomb threat called into my children's Jewish preschool. You have security outside synagogues all over the world right now. Matagal na raw itinutulak ng Jewish community ang pagsama ng mandatory Holocaust education sa BC school curriculums. Lalo tila kulang daw ang paghintindi dito. 20% of, of high school students or secondary school students believe that the Holocaust was either fabricated or uh, was made or was exaggerated. Um, there are many students who have never even heard of the Holocaust, can't name a uh, concentration camp. Uh, name one of them. Mahalaga rin daw ito para di malimutan ang madilim na parte ng kasaysayan na resulta ng negatibong pananaw sa Jewish community. Ayon kay Professor Trisco Darden, ang naranasan ng komunidad tila parehas din sa pinagdaanan ng mga Pilipino noon. The Holocaust took place in the broader context of the Second World War. And Filipinos had a direct experience of that, uh, particularly in terms of the Japanese occupation of the Philippines. And so when we think about this um, in a similar context, the Holocaust was the occupation of parts of Europe by the German military with the specific goal of eliminating the Jewish population of those countries. Meron ng elective Holocaust education sa history at humanities classes sa BC high schools. Pero ngayon lang ito gagawing mandatory. Bagay na maaring mas magbukas pa raw sa pagintindi sa komunidad. At the end of the day, this is a religious group just like any other religious group, just like any other ethnic minority in Canada. They should be allowed to, to exist without fear of hate or discrimination. And Holocaust education can play a really important role in teaching young people, but also their families and their communities about the different forms that discrimination has taken over time.